Black Swan Beauty. Hello my lovelies, it's Helen here. Welcome back to my channel and to today's tutorial. As you can see, I have another collaboration with Katie from Hot Pink Zebra Polish today. And we decided to pick one of our favorite designs from each other's Instagram and recreate it in our own style. I chose this particular lemon design which Katie did and I'm recreating it today. To complete today's look I'm going to need the use of these yellow and pink and iridescent glitters, Glam and Glitz Peach Please, Ugly Ducklings Fufu and Cooper's Clear Acrylic Powder and my monomer. So I've got Valentina here and I'm going to start on the middle finger and I'm just placing down a thin layer of clear acrylic so I can then tap into it some yellow glitter. I've started with the big hexagon glitters and now I'm going in with the finer yellow glitter and I'm just placing it almost like where the nail bed would be and I need it to sort of resemble a circle and not be too almond in shape. With that complete I then need to add the peachy color on the rest of the nail and it's going to look a bit like a French at the at this present moment but once we've finished with the artwork at the end you'll see how it's going to look like a lemon. Now moving on to the ring finger I'm going to do a reverse French on this one so I'm using Ugly Ducklings Fufu to create a new nail bed and with that bead at the back part of it I'm flattening it and then with the front part of the bead I'm just using the tip of my brush to make it into a perfect smile line. The reason I flatten the back part of the bead is because when it comes to this point of adding the second bead behind it the transition of the acrylic over it is nice and smooth and you cannot see any shadowing underneath the second bead. Now I'm just going to butt up my peachy colour right up to the smile line using the tip of my brush to push the acrylic right up into the wings of the smile line. Then I can pat the remainder of the acrylic all the way down to the free edge. Keep in mind all these nails will need encapsulating but I will do that at the end after applying all my coloured acrylic. On the pinky finger I'm going to do this nail entirely of this peachy colour. So I've started with the bead at the cuticle and I'm just feathering it down over the entire nail. But to it I also want to add some pinky glitter and I've used a clear bead to pick up some glitter and now I'm just patting it over the entire nail. The pointer finger is going to be an ombre of the peach and yellow colours. So at the cuticle area I'm placing the solid peach colour and then I'm feathering it down into nothing on the free edge. And where that empty no colour is I'm going to add yellow glitter. Again I picked up some glitter with my clear bead of acrylic and then I'm feathering it backwards into the peach colour. This is giving me a beautiful ombre of the two colours. I'm also adding some of that iridescent white-ish glitter to that as well. For the thumbnail I'm going to do a reverse French on this one as well. So like I did before I'm creating a nail bed and patting that bead into an almond shape using the two bead method and with the second bead I'm placing it close to the cuticle and feathering it over the new nail bed which I have created. Once that's complete I'm going to do an ombre French on here so I'm placing the peach colour right up against the smile line and feathering it down but I don't want it to take over the entire free edge because the remainder of the free edge is going to be the yellow and I'm just blending that glitter back into the peach smile line. I'm also adding some of that iridescent whitish glitter as well. 
Now, like I mentioned earlier, all these nails do need encapsulating to seal in the glitter and any ombres I have created. So I am using Cooper's clear acrylic powder and I am placing beads over the sections which I want to encapsulate. For my French, reverse French nails, I usually just encapsulate the free edge, but the rest of the nails will get clear acrylic on the entire nail just to make sure it is all sealed in and an apex created to give the nail some strength and structure. With all my acrylic work complete and dried I can move on to finish filing and I'm using Ugly Duckling's coarse hand file to finish file the free edge and because I'm working on Valentina today I am using my hand file to file the surface of the nail. I'm removing all my dust and now I can start the artwork. So to do today's artwork I'm using Wildflowers gel paint set and Get Buffed Brienne liner brush. To create the lemon slice I'm going to use the yellow gel paint and the white and I'm starting off with the yellow one and on the middle finger where I had created the yellow glitter acrylic on the close to the cuticle section I am circling that yellow section using my liner brush and a steady hand <laughs> as steady as it can possibly be I'm just circumferencing the part where the yellow glitter is when I'm happy with it I'm going to flash cure it and then I'm going to go back in with some white gel polish uh, sorry gel paint and create another circle within the yellow one and this is going to be the pith of the lemon. Now before I cure the inner circle I am going through around like the face of the clock and drawing lines reaching into the center of the lemon. Once I've roughly outlined where they're going to be on the part which is closest to the outer circle I am doing little I'm sort of adding little arches to the lines so it doesn't look so squarish and it looks more natural and flowing like uh, an actual lemon does. So as you can see that small addition of white gel paint right there where I'm creating those arched sections makes a huge difference and it's starting to look like a lemon now. Before I move on to the next step I'm going to flash cure this again and then I'm going to mix Cooper's no wipe top coat with a little bit of the yellow from wildflowers so I can get a transparent yellow. This is going to be the juice because apparently this lemon is getting squeezed and the juice from the lemon is flowing down the nail. So with this transparent yellow I am placing it at the base of the lemon and creating drips with my liner brush. Once the drips are as I want them and I'm happy with them I cure them and then around the left side of the drips I'm going to add a little bit of white highlight to them to make it look like the juice is glistening. After flash curing that I've mixed some black gel polish with some no wipe top coat and I'm just bordering the juice to make it look darker at the very edge to help it stand apart from the actual colour of the nail. Now because I want the nail to be matte I am applying matte to the free edge I'm going to cure that and once that's cured I can then add glossy no wipe top coat to the lemon and to the juice but because this brush is a little bit too thick I'm going to use my little liner brush and add no wipe top coat to the drips as well. Then I'm going to cure that, give it a full cure for a full minute in my LED light. And now I wanted to create some little tiny lemon wedges and I'm using the same colours as I did before. And just on the back of a nail form I am creating little lemon wedges. I'm going to cure them for a full minute in my LED light and then that will set them in place and then I can easily pick them up off the uh, backing form from a nail form and start applying them to the ring finger but this nail is also going to have some bling so I'm going to use a variety of Zwarovski crystals and just add random crystals to this nail and continue adding my lemon wedges to it as well 
When I have all my wedges and crystals in the position I want them, I give them a full cure in my LED light and then I am free to give the rest of the nails a no wipe top coat. They're all going to get one coat and I'm going to cure them for a final time in my LED light and then this set will be ready for reveal. And here's the completed recreation of one of my favorites from Katie's Instagram page. Don't forget to head over to her channel now to watch her recreation of Simba, which I did. And if you enjoyed this video and this collaboration, do let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to her channels, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you get notified of any videos we put out. So that's it for today's video, but in the meantime, if you'd like to watch another one, YouTube recommends this one. Well, I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you next time. Bye.